Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go, here we go. So first, first one. Ah, shit, now hold on. Ah, shit. Okay, hold on. You might need, ah, uh, you need, you, uh, uh. Never mind, never mind. I, fuck me. boy kitchen bins it's your boy kitchen bins back we are gonna make seven waffle recipes and I'm gonna show you why these are so good and why they're so versatile let me level set this why are we making these things they are a fantastic alternative to Parotas, white bread, wheat bread, sourdough, naan, wraps, anything. There's some of them are gonna be sweet, some of them are gonna be savory, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm The first waffle is literally two ingredients. It's egg and cheese, okay? It's not it's not flour, it's not a normal waffle, it literally looks like a waffle. It's like when you see a burger right or let's call it a black bean burger and you're like oh that must be meat no nah, it's just shaped like a burger but it's actually vegetarian oh so it's meat no 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 it's it's actually it's in the shape of a burger it doesn't have any meat in it oh so it contains meat that, that, that yeah exactly exactly there are three Three things that are a must for all of these recipes. Number one, a waffle maker can be a big one, a small one. Next, eggs. So this is where the variety in the type of waffle you make comes into play, all right? So let's say, for example, you want a really cheesy waffle. We got cheddar for a more cheesier waffle, all right? Makes sense? Mozzarella, low moisture. This has a much milder taste to it, so this will be much more useful for some of these sweet waffles we'll, that we're gonna try. All right, we'll see. Let's see what fucking happens. This first waffle is gonna be egg and cheese waffle, all right? One egg, cheddar. If you like cheese, uh, make it a hefty scoop. This is what makes this so easy. Do you see any cooking spray around here? No. You don't need it. You don't need it. These things, whatever this material is, it just makes it so non-stick. If you're using a small one, this will make two waffles. If you do the big one, it's gonna make one. Easy. This next one, Kerala style, all right? That's still cooking. You'd want to leave it in for maybe like five, six, maybe five, six minutes. Anyways, next one. 30 grams, 30 grams, AKA one fourth cup, one fourth cup. So put a little garlic, a little red chili, and then as spicy as you want it, I'm gonna do, it's like, uh, that looks like a teaspoon. Uh, pepper, lemon pepper, cumin. Not a lot, just a little bit. Whatever you want, whatever you want. And you know what? I feel, I'm, I feel like I'm on one right now. So shit. I'm gonna even put in some garam masala. In. We'll let that one go. Bam. Bam. This is literally just egg and cheese. That's it. That's it. And look, you see any sticking? No, I'm gonna take this off too. It's fine. It's fine. You can go. You can go make 20 more waffles with this thing without cleaning it. Oh shit! It's hot. Hold on. Fuck. Remember this first waffle? We only used half of it, right, for this small one. And then we're gonna finish this one off. Now this takes practice, guys. The first the first times I started making this, this shit overflew overflowed like half the literally like 90% of the time it would overflow. Take a look. This is done. Bam. Look, Kerala style. You can break it up. Now we got something to just eat. Mukka. What we're gonna do, take this, the first egg and cheese, pull this out, right? I got some, got some beef. What we got? Steak, egg and cheese sandwich. Bam, I'll leave that there. 
third waffle. This is gonna be tuna, egg, and cheese. All right, I know it sounds a little odd. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I usually eat these when I have to have, I gotta eat real, real quick, but I need a, something with a little bit more sustenance. Bam. One whole can of tuna. A little cumin, garlic, a little chili. Then we're gonna mix this up. Okay, we'll let that go. A broccoli cheddar egg and cheese waffle. Bam. There we go. Bam, you see? Tuna one. Look at that, look at that. Just waffle it, waffleized it. Waffleize me, Captain. Guys, it's like a tuna cake. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna make like two, actually four total, I think, from that. Back to number four. Got the broccoli cheddar waffle. We got the egg and cheese. We got some broccoli. All right, let's make it a little spicy. Just make sure that the broccoli is at least a little bit connected to the egg and cheese or it's just uh, and if there's a little extra just put it put it back on the broccoli we'll uh, we'll figure something out okay we're gonna let that cook a little dive into the the sweet the sweet waffles now yeah this I'm this is gonna be it's gonna be fun let's take a look at mr. broccoli and Mrs. Cheddar. Oh, oh my God. We'll let that keep going. Bam, let's check on tuna. So usually the bottom definitely gets hotter than the top. So sometimes you can just literally flip it over, fit it into the groove. Right, waffle number five, peanut butter waffle. This time, because we're moving to the sweet, if you use the cheddar, it's gonna taste a little cheesy. And if with the sweet, that's, that's disgusting. This has a more milder taste. So for the sweet ones, Go for this uh, low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese, all right? Here we go. Broccoli cheddar, we done, we done. Vegetarians, it's a perfect vegetarian option. Broccoli cheddar, little spices, little spicy, spicy. Look at that. Oh. So easy, oh my God, I'm excited. Let's check on the tuna one, bam, we good. The reason why I even started this, man, tuna has some of the best macros out there. Number five, so peanut butter, right? I'm getting excited. Another love that I have, PB powder. Two tablespoons, 70 calories, as opposed to what, like 220 calories for one, like two tablespoons of normal peanut butter. I think it's a win-win situation, guys. A nice scoop of peanut butter, eh, let's just, Let's just go all in on this peanut butter, you feel me? We'll do, we'll do a little smaller of a scoop, but we're gonna do a little bit more peanut butter. Just wanna make it super peanut buttery. So, hey, bam, oof. Six, we're gonna do a chocolate chip one, all right? And cheese. Um, these, oh man, that looks so good. Uh, these ones, the sweet ones, I'd say, Tastes a little bit better when they're cooked less than the cheddar cheese ones, all right? Peanut butter one, success. What we got next, what we got next? Oh, oh the tuna one, bam, look. That is so far three tuna egg and cheese cakes. I think if this is gonna be the last one, or if not, we'll make it the last one. What we got here, we got a little, um, Optimum, optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Way. This is the birthday cake flavor. We're gonna take like half a scoop. Eh, you can do a full scoop if you want to. It really doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How much protein do you want in your waffle? Plus the egg and the cheese, it's already protein. It's a protein filled waffle. Get that into a little batter form. Next, Lily's Dark chocolate baking chips are absolutely amazing. You know why? Let me tell you why. We're on 60 chocolate chips. Look at this, four grams of fat, three grams of, no dude. The carbs are eight, but you subtract the fiber, which is five, that's three. And then we got erythritol, that's two. It's literally one gram of net carbs. And we go, we got that one going. Number seven, triple chocolate protein waffle. Some double rich chocolate protein powder. You won't taste the cheese, okay? 
trust me, you won't taste the cheap. Half to 75% of a scoop. Hershey's, ooh, special dark 100% cacao. One teaspoon of this, because this is a tablespoon, so this is not a teaspoon. Yeah. Bam. Look at that. Ooh. Chocolate chip, chocolate chip. All right. Look at this. No mess, no mess. Next, back to our triple chocolate. We're gonna throw some lilies. And that is seven waffles, all right. I gotta clean up. You could also, ooh, another, you could make grilled cheeses out of this. Literally take the waffles, butter the sides, throw it on the stove top, put a che more cheese in it. It's endless. The chutney life one, All right, bam, we'll do that. Uh, this will be for the Kerala style, because we want a hot. For the peanut butter one, Take some cacao nibs, basically just straight up fiber, and they got a nice crunch to it. And take a little bit of this Walden Farms pancake syrup, not sponsored, zero calorie, tastes really good. This broccoli one, we're gonna lean in onto this cheese, you know what I mean? Take a little hot sauce, or hot, man, this thing is just so good. Bam. Then we got the triple chocolate. Walden Farms chocolate syrup. And last one, the chocolate chip. Fuck. Am I gonna eat this? Yes. Sweet ones are going last. I encourage you all to try and make these. Kerala style one <clears throat> is the one I ate with the curry. You know what I mean? Oh, actually. Let's get to this sandwich one. Oh man. How's your day going? I want a broccoli one. Broccoli egg and cheddar. It's like an omelet, but in a waffle form, right? Look, you know what's awesome about waffles? You put a sauce in, it will sit in the pocket. Oh man. This is broccoli cheddar one. Amazing. This is nice. This is so far, so far, this is my favorite. Next, these tuna ones. Oh man, these are pretty, uh, pretty hefty. You could literally use this as buns as well. And it would just be a very packed. And then let's say you put in like chicken or steak or something in between. So much protein in that sandwich. Uh, these I can save with that. I'm gonna just finish this egg one off. Next, we have Let's go with the peanut butter, peanut butter first. This two scoops of peanut butter. So good. All right. Chocolate chip. The chocolate chips. So good. Those Lily's chocolate chips, so good. This one and the broccoli one. <sighs> no knife and fork. It's, it's okay. With the sweet ones, they can get a little dry, which is why it's, um, that's why it's okay if you actually undercook it because it's a little softer. Fluffy, it makes it more fluffy, you know? I did pretty good, I did pretty good. This is what's left. We got one total sweet waffle left. We got three of those tuna cakes. They were good, but uh, these I can store, these and I can heat up. Oh, beauty of 
Uh, beauty of actually, if you're ever in a pinch and you need to eat food fast, or you gotta just now, let's say you would all you can eat sushi, and you you gotta pay extra if you don't finish the fish. The key is you gotta switch up the flavors. All right. In this case, secret weapon: ice cream. Oh man. And oh, some keto ice cream. It's called Sola. Man, this is. Butter, pecan, and salted caramel. Oh my god. Mmm. If it's too dry, add some ice cream to it. Oh man. See? Now I'm gonna finish it. This isn't the first time I've had this ice cream. This is amazing. I had a feeling I'd finish all the fucking sweet ones. Oh my. I think we're done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. That's it. It's the end. It's the end of Sibin. We're done. Bins in the kitchen out. Kitchen bins out. Bins in the kitchen. Get the fuck. Two box on a black top. That's how it's cold. Love. After school, hooking up in your drop top. The small waffle, right? Right? And you put something in. You make it a taco. A wa. Waffle taco!